Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Bloomfield, Canada. This is by RubberBurner89. It's 198.77 megabytes to download for all platforms. Uh, but yeah, so this came out on the 4th of July. Um, I apologize for not getting this out to you guys until uh, later on the day of the 6th. Um, I tried to record it um, on my new PC because I, well, I was busy around the holidays, so I couldn't get anything done the 4th and the 5th. I recorded a map tour on here as my first video on my new PC and the formatting got was all messed up on OBS because it wasn't set correctly, so I had to fix all that. But anyhow, regardless of that, the file was corrupted, so we're going round two here. Uh, but as always, I'm gonna start by reading uh, the description in the mod hub here for the map. It says, welcome to Bloomfield, Canada. The map is loosely based off of a real life location. Features included within this map include four farms with all, with all with sellable buildings in order to customize it however you see fit, 109 farmlands for sale, lots of room for placeables, 58 fields of varying size, custom growth schedule, custom precision farming soil map, custom license plates, custom NPCs, custom placeables, AI traffic and pedestrians, functional train, all of the elm creek production facilities, and additional paintable textures. And there also are also 100 collectibles on here. So a lot of good stuff on there. This is where you start off in new farmer mode. If we hop into the menu, we are right up here. This is kind of your starting farm. So you in field one, two, three, and four. So that chunk of land right there. But you can see most of the land is purchasable. Not all of it, but there's little chunks in here and there that are not. If I can actually find one that's not like that. Oh, that was purchasable too. Good Lord, that one's not right there. But yeah, so anyhow, most of it, the land you can purchase uh, for yourself. But yeah, if we keep going down here. Custom crop schedule here. So I'm just going to kind of put that on there. If you guys want to pause and take a little bit closer look at it, feel free to do so. As we go down, I'm gonna scroll through everything that we have in here. So um, if you want to, you can slow it down down below, or you can just pause the video if you're curious about a specific crop or fill type and what places will take it on this map. But um, I am just gonna scroll through here just real quick so you can get a look at everything. Grab a quick drink of coffee as we keep going here. Almost done here, almost down to stones, which would be our last fill type. And there we are, stones right there at the bottom. If we go down here, a lot of starting equipment. We'll take a look at that in the store here in just a second. You start off with $100,000 and no starting loan in new farmer mode. Um, you do start off owning a pigsty with no animals in it. There are contracts in the fields you do not own, and you do not own any production facility starting off. Again, 100 collectibles as mentioned, and that's pretty much it through here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to walk around the starting farm here, take a look at that first. Um, again, I am on a new PC, so I'm still trying to adjust the graphic settings to be appropriate. If you see something that's kind of low quality on your end, um, or you think something should be changed, just let me know um, so I can get it fixed and all that sort of stuff. But feel free to comment down below. But before we take a look walking around here, um, let's hop in the store and take a look at our starting equipment here. So under small tractors, we have a Case Maxim uh, CVX-115. We also have a Massey Ferguson MF-7715S and a John Deere 7810. We have a New Holland CH-770 Harvester, as well as a uh, header trailer for, or not a header, a header for that, and we don't even have a header trailer, so ignore what I'm saying. A Harvester and a header to go with it. Uh, under trailers, we have a Rudolph TDK, TDK 301RP, I can't talk today as normal. Um, we also have a small cultivator, small power harrow. We have a small seeder and an extra seed tank for it, which is nice. Um, we also have a small baler, which I haven't used this in a while since Elm Creek, actually. And uh, we also have a multi-pack, which this is what stacks those little small bales up. So basically like an auto loader for the small bales, which is pretty sweet. We also have a front loader attachment, and then we have a pallet fork for the front loader. Then we got a John Deere pickup 1150 weight and an Agco 650 weight. And then we also have a couple of belt systems here, which you can see right there. So you can load up your two silos, which we have right over there. We have a sleep trigger here. Then right over here, we have a water point, which this is one of the custom placeables of the map. We'll take a look at those later on. But yeah, if we walk around the farm, open up this door here, got stuff stored in here. If we continue up this road right here, we have our silos right here, which are both, um, oh gosh, what are they called? I can't remember now. They're the uh, flat bottom bins there, so they have to be loaded using these conveyor belts. So you got those on there for you. Diesel tank, more storage facility here. Right over here is where we got our pigs. So we got our pig facility right there. And then um, as we run up the hill here, just around the corner, we have just our harvester, another tractor and a trailer out here ready to go for what we got going up there. But that is basically everything in terms of the starting farm. Um, we are actually gonna jump all the way down to the bottom of the map to the store, hop in a pickup truck, and then we are gonna drive around this area here. Um, and then we're gonna head up and over and probably straight up this way, up around, and then we'll finish out up here over the top. We'll take a look at the BGA as well. BGA's down there. So uh, we're gonna hop down there real quick. We're gonna purchase ourselves a truck to drive around the map in. 
There we go. Okay, we should be squared away now. We'll hop in the truck. Get zoomed out here so we can take a look around what we got going on. And again, just to our right there, we have a nice little fuel point. And a lot of the fuel points, well, actually the two fuel points, there's one up here and there's also one down here. They have three icons there because they have a biomethane station as well as electric charging station in addition to just the gas station itself, which is really nice to have. And this map, honestly, I'm going to fast forward time just a little bit just to get us up to about midday-ish. This map is really beautiful, quite honestly. Um, it's a really good looking map. Right here we have, I believe it's a spinnery. Yeah, spinnery point right here on the left-hand side. I know some about this map because I've already toured it once and recorded it, but obviously, well, you know, we know how that went. You're never going to see that video. <laughs> uh, right here we have, uh, as we come into town, we have the farmer's market here on the left. And we do have a cell point at Crawford Farms, which is a map by Rubber Burner 89 for FS19. And I believe that's what's uh, indicated at the top as well, which Crawford Farms was one of my favorite maps. I never actually got to play a ton on it, uh, but it was a really beautiful map. So really cool map. And I'm really excited that uh, Rubber Burner is putting out new. I'm sure that Rubber Burner made that map. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize uh, to whoever made that map. But uh, yeah, as we go down here, I think this will loop around for us to drive this way. We'll see here in a second. Nope, we're going we're gonna to hit a barrier here. Yep, right there. Oh, let us drive through it, though. But yeah, that heads out of town right into that barrier there. We'll get turned around here. Thought we could drive around that bottom side. I didn't try that the last time I did the map tour, so I figured I'd try it this time just to change it up for even my sake. But we'll head up this road right here because this should take us towards the rest of town um, and show off some of that sort of stuff. Uh, so on the right side here, we have a great processing facility. Great processing. Then we also have the carpentry point. And then up above, we have the cereal factory followed by the bakery. Then down here, we also have a biomass energy plant. So you can kind of see in the back of that uh, big old lot, uh, lot there. But there again, carpentry and then biomass energy plants can be in the back there. On the left here, here's our cereal factory, and then you can see our bakery up there on that corner, which is nice right there. And then we'll take a left here. Right down there, we have the Red Marble Bowling Alley cell point. And then as we curve here, so again, the Red Marble Bowling Alley, then we have our oil mill and grain mill on the right-hand side of the road. So you can have the oil mill right there. The grain mill, you can see straight where kind of the nose of my truck was just pointing a second ago, right back in there is where the grain mill's at. Then we have the fast food restaurant cell point right here on the left-hand side. And then we have another cell point, which is this one right here. I can't remember the grocery mart, which is right up there. You can see just up the hill and you can access that from either side as well on either road, I should say. But yeah, a lot of good stuff on the map. Um, very well detailed. This is kind of your town center or your town section of the map. Uh, we're going to head out this way. We're going to take a look at that BGA. We're just going to drive past it real quick just so you guys can get a, a quick overview of it. Um, and again, the BGA straight down this way. We have a biomethane station and electric charging station there as well. But that is the BGA that's down there. So we'll take a look at that BGA and then we will drive up the center of the map to head up towards kind of where everything else is at located on top of the map. And now one other thing, actually real quick while we're right here, do you see this kind of placeable, like all these wood things here and everything like that? If we go into here, there are some um, placeable items in here that are kind of extra to this map, which if you scroll down to the end, you'll see a couple down here. Um, this is the shed. It's kind of like an equal, you can see it matches that. So you can place that down wherever you'd like to. Then we also have this shed right here, which is custom. And this shit as well, which is custom in there. And then there are a couple other things. Let me scroll through. I can't remember, of course, where they're all at. Um, go through here. There's a couple of water um, fill points that you have in here. That's one. Or, yeah, water well. That's the one we have on our farm right now. Um, and then we have, let's see here, under production, the very end, we do have a dairy point, which I'm not sure what the difference is compared to the normal one. It might be a more efficient or something like that. Um, there weren't any animal pens that I can remember. Um, and under, I don't think there's anything under decoration either. Yeah, I don't think there was anything. And then they said that they had some custom painting textures. Most of them look uh, pretty normal to me or stuff that we've seen um, from maps in the past. They may not all be standard ones, but they're all ones that we've seen in the past. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on that. But I just wanted to kind of show that off real quick before I forgot to do it. Get a drink of coffee as we start heading up towards the BGA. We'll just quickly drive through the BGA and then head back out. And then on that road that we just passed, we're going to take a, a right head up there. We'll take a left because we'll be going the other way. But... We'll head up that road and that'll take us towards the top of the map so we can take a look at everything else we want to take a look at. Right here, entrance to our BGA. You got everything you'd need in here in addition to a couple of massive bunker silos so you can do all sorts of stuff. It looks honestly like the Elm Creek one, if not exactly like it. Uh, so very similar to that. Now there was someone else that had a map that had 
these little light posts on it. I'm curious. I can't remember who was it. Maple Farm. That's that was the farm. Maple Farm where you could cut those and then uh, remove different items. I don't think that's the case here. I think that those are just on there as lights, but they were aimed in different directions. That's why they kind of caught my attention. So I don't think there's anything in terms of that on here, but we're taking a look at it for a second. Yeah, we'll drive down here and then we're gonna take a left head up the main road. I mean, this is just honestly just a beautiful map. I am very excited for FS22 is gonna have a good cycle because there is a lot of really good mods already coming out. Um, a lot of the mods that we're getting out right now at FS22, we didn't get until the end of the uh, cycle on FS19, which is super cool to see. We have another farm on the right hand side. So actually that's another thing too I wanna note. If we pull over, I'm gonna add some money in for us here. And then if we go into here, we're gonna purchase the farms. So this one we're gonna buy, it's one of them. This is another one right here. We own one of them up here at the top, and the last one's right here. So those are the four farms. Now we hop back in there. This one at the top corner is sheep, chickens, as well as a couple of flat bottom bins, a water well, farmhouse, and a petrol tank. Now down here, this one that we're next to has horses, a farmhouse, and a water well. This one has a water well, farmhouse, a petrol tank, and a couple of flat bottom bins, and a cow barn. So I just wanted to note that um, in case you're wondering which farm has what or what's on those farms, now we are kind of aware of that now. So there you go, just kind of a note there. So that's one of the other farms right there. It's a small one, small horse one. This is the cow one here on the left-hand side, and we'll head up and we'll take a look at the other one as we keep going. But there's there's where the other farms are at, just to kind of note that for you guys. And on the left-hand side, you can buy that chunk of land right there and use it as placeable land, I believe. Let me double check that, make sure I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's a big old placeable area for you. So again, there's a lot of good space on here. A lot of areas to do placeables and stuff like that. So just as mentioned in the description. So get through these trees here. Now, as we get up to the top, if you take a left here on this next kind of main road, that's going to head out to, again, this is going to head out to our, our starting farm there. But on our right-hand side here, we have um, the animal dealer and the animal dealer uh, sell point. So that's all going to be kind of this main farm yard right here. Uh, but we're going to continue around this way. We're going to pass by again. We have another gas station that has all those different features. And then we're gonna take a look just at all the stuff that's clustered up here. And then the dairy is at the very end and that's where we'll kind of stop. And then we'll do a flyover in the map and then wrap it up. So that is the plan in terms of the tour. So loop around here. Oh gosh, we always gotta have one head on every map tour. It feels like, oh wow, that car I thought was just gonna smack into us. We're trying to get out of the way. We're so shook up from our last collision. <laughs> Anyhow, there is your, uh, there's your fuel point on the right hand side there. And past here, I don't even want to even look at the gas prices on there. It seems like how it is in real life. At least you don't want to look at those. Now, in here, we got a lot of stuff on our left-hand side. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff going on. I mean, not a ton, but there's a few things. So, again, we have a grain silo where you can run the train. And I believe that's the only silo you can run the train off of. Yeah, it's the only silo you can be able to run the train off of. Now, down here in the middle, we do have a sawmill, which I didn't take us to. We will see that on the flyover. We could have cut across and taken a quick look, but uh, we will see that on the flyover. So up over here, again, we have our tra rent train point, we have our train silo, all that stuff going on, and then again, the Crawford Farm cell point. And the only other really thing that we have going on right here is gonna be, uh, we have a lime station and a debris crusher. So you have those available to you. That's really all that's right here. This is mostly set up for you to kind of load onto your trains. Now, one thing I did notice as well on accident is, oh, well, gosh, they didn't have a collision on them, I thought before, but maybe I'm crazy. I thought they didn't have a collision, but anyhow, obviously they do have a collision. <laughs> There's one of our farms on the right-hand side. And then you can see the dairy down there. So we'll just drive down there, park, hop out, and do, go ahead and do a quick fly over this map here before we wrap things up. So yeah, a really nice map though, really well done. Um, definitely don't mind touring it twice, to be honest with you guys. This is a really cool map. I apologize it took so long to get um, this map tour out, but still, very well done. Yeah, quite nice. Dairy point up here. If we loop kind of back this way, this is one of the farms here, which I like this one's kind of up on kind of an edge there, or a cliff up there. Then again, you got your train section here, lime station right there, debris crusher right there. That's all outside of the map on the right-hand side. As we continue down this way, we got our fuel point right here, and then we got our animal dealer cell point, all that good stuff. And if we head out this way, here is gonna be our starting farm. So really good starting farm, actually. You have a lot of space out here. And you know, in this grass field, this field right here, this one, and then this one right here, and these two, I believe, are ready to harvest. So you have wheat here and sorghum over there. So there you go. As we head down, this is mostly, again, just kind of fields along here. A lot of really open spaces and a lot of mostly squared fields. Um, so for you guys that like your squared fields, you're gonna have a lot of uh, easy fields to work with on here for workers and stuff like that. Head down here to the bottom, we got the BGA. Oh, it's gonna save us, that's fine. 
Um, the only field that's kind of odd is this field 22, which has got, I mean, it's huge, but it's got a lot of little odd kind of nooks and crannies. Uh, course plays out for all platforms now, though, and I will do a tour, or a, not a tour of course play, I will do a tutorial on course play at some point. Uh, but yeah, we loop over here. That's got a gas station, our stores right there, but we're going to head up this way. Here's our small little horse farm right here, and then we also have our cow farm right here to kind of get an aerial look of the cow farm there. We head up this way, placeable area there. You can buy all these little chunks of land, clear the uh, forest off them if you wanted to. And again, we're up to the animal dealer again. Here's this weird field right here again. That's a kind of odd shaped one. We'll head over here and then I like some of the stuff like this right here. Some of the good details as you follow kind of the railroad tracks down. Um, you got this nice little bridge right here. Like this just looks very picturesque, very cool. But as we continue down here, you got the edge of the map right there. And then here's that sawmill that we did not take a look at. So you got that down here. You do have access from a road. Um, and then I guess you could rent the train if you wanted to. I don't know where you'd really unload them necessarily from there, but you could do that if you wanted to go that route. Now, if we hop down here, this will take us down to, again, you got the store point right here. So as we're coming in here, you got your spinnery. And this is kind of your main town area with all those cell points down there at the very bottom. So that's that's the whole map, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed. Because, uh, yeah, that, that's everything. I don't think there's anything we missed on here looking over at the description. Yeah, everything's good to go. So there you go. If you guys enjoyed this map tour, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys so much for coming and for watching.